Hey guys, in this video we will look at the so-called Vienna game, the line where white goes e4, e5, and now he sort of loses courage to develop his king's knight, attack this pawn on e5, but he thinks maybe I should first protect my pawn on e4 before it gets attacked. It's not the, not the most aggressive of moves, obviously he's white and it's a developing move, so it's not bad or anything, but it does not put direct pressure on our construction. So it's nothing that is seen all that often and there are reasons for it. It's just a more passive move than two knight to f3. Black replies with knight to f6. Black is a believer in kingside development and castling. Therefore prioritizes putting his knight on f6. You could if you wanted to probably go with knight c6 as well, but I just don't see the point. Knight f6 is always more flexible, keeping the option of going c6, d5, and many other pros. Now white has a choice. The pure Vienna game is the move pawn to f4, which at least gives the game a very different flavor. But of course, other moves are perfectly legal here. You could play knight f3, transposing back to the four knights. There's nothing better than knight to c6 for black. You could play, that arrow is bothering me, bishop to c4, when we will stick within our repertoire and play knight to c6. There are many other options. We shall cover that in the chapter on the bishop's game on an adventurous day. You could take on e4, but today is not that day. And one line that's kind of respectable and independent is if white goes g3 here, tries to fianchetto his king's bishop, put it on g2, and then take it from there. Often he wants to follow up with some plan like knight e2, d3, a3, castle, f4, and checkmate us. And we should ideally not allow him the checkmating part. There are many feasible ways to play against g3, d5, grabbing space in the center. It's a very decent option for sure. After e takes d5, knight takes d5, bishop g2, takes on c3, b takes c, knight to c6, as far as I know. Black gets a very playable position after knight f3. The main move is bishop c5. This is perfectly reasonable. <clears throat> I was also once experimenting with the move pawn to c6, but then after d4, I didn't like bishop b4, de, knight e4, and I think queen g4 was unpleasant. So I stopped these experiments. The move I have decided to make our main line, even though d5 I also like, is this move bishop to c5 here very natural we are not committing to knight c6 just yet keeping our options open if we want to go c6 d5 play in the center depending on what white does now usually white will play bishop g2 once again by far the most natural move if they try to start with knight f3 here which no one will do probably but maybe trying to get us into a position we don't want after something like knight c6 would be somewhat out of repertoire, I guess. Then we can punish them directly. And there's not, not just one, but two ways to punish them. One is d5, e takes d castles. And this transposes to a position you guys might recall from the 